guest tonight is a professional motocross racer and X Games gold medalist who's here to do a stunt for us today. His new film, Nitro Circus, the movie 3D, is in theaters right now. Let's take a look. Spot right here. You ready? Good One, two, three. Welcome, Travis Pastrana. I couldn't help but notice that you're pretty much on a big wheel when you do that stunt. And then I, and I know it's been modified a little bit. It's not quite the not kids. Not really. But it really is. A, <laughs> you're using a kid's big wheel, and then I find out that that's, you prefer, you like using a child's big wheel. Why? I wouldn't necessarily say we prefer it, but like it was interesting because we jumped in the Grand Canyon. I mean, we're base jumping motorcycles, set on a ramp, doing triple backflips. Everyone, you know, three wide. We're almost, you know, dying. People are like, wow, well, those guys are professionals. I don't know how hard that is. You take a big wheel, you jump at 30 feet, and you, you know, you do a backflip or you set it on top of uh, skyscrapers and people are like, I've jumped one of those. That's not easy. Yeah, people, <laughs> a lot of people have experience with a big wheel. And, and so this is something that makes it relatable. Yeah, things that are relatable, actually. I mean, we have some of the, we'll do the, some of the gnarliest stuff and be like, oh, that was intense. And people are like, oh, bravo. And then you do like a slip and slide. And you know, <laughs> people are like, wow, oh, man, I, that's amazing. Yeah, so. that was better. Uh... <laughs> You, uh, you've made a point that uh, there, this is quite different from what they do on Jackass, you, because you guys are really almost approaching this mathematically sometimes, isn't that right? Yeah, well, nitro physics, I wouldn't necessarily call it mathematics. It's like, uh, you know, most of the guys, though, on Nitro Circus are, um, you know, are athletes. They're all top, um, you know, X Games uh, gold medalists in different sports. And, uh, but I think the biggest difference between Nitro Circus and Jackass is that you can take your parents and your, your kids to, to Nitro Circus and there's no you know, genitalia in 3D. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. No, well, not unless something goes really bad. And then there's just, <laughs> I mean, you have a yard sale. You go really flying, bad but. or really right. Uh, so, um, okay, so, and, but also, you're, you're putting a lot of thought. We should, we should preface it. You guys really do put a lot of thought into these stunts and really try and calculate how it's going to work out before you do it. No, without a doubt. But uh, most of the calculation is truly what we call nitro physics. Everyone laughs, but it's someone comes up to the ramp, they're like, How'd that look? I'm like, ah, steepen the ramp a little bit. And we actually did use math for one of our stunts. We took a bus jump with, uh, we put seven of our best friends in a bus and we jumped at 200 feet over a big ravine, um, about 50 feet in the air. Uh, and the mathematician said we needed to go 88 miles an hour. Well, we put an old NASCAR motor and it was just about broken because I always crashed those into the wall, it seems like recently. And right. uh, what had happened was the bus would only go about 82. But thank goodness our mathematician uh, wasn't that smart. I don't know if he passed uh, whatever classes he was taking yeah. because the bus just greased the landing. It was sweet. Right, right. So he, you're, I'm, I'm happy he was wrong. Yeah. Yes, we were too. Uh, were you, as you were going up the ramp, looking at the speedometer and going, no! <laughs> Uh, you, uh, you did a, I want to show this, uh, because we're, we're going to get to a real stunt in a second, but I got to show this. You did a, uh, a, a jump off of a skyscraper, and you were propelled in an interesting way. Well, this is a, a blob skyscraper jump. This is one of the, I'd say the more safe things we did, but it was also one of the craziest because of the, the risk involved with any kind of base jump stunt you do. Uh, and we didn't really know, like, the blob, it kind of was awkwardly perched on a... You basically have a giant mattress, and you had two... Uh, Elvises. Heavy Elvis impersonators... <laughs> Uh, land, and, and that was what propelled you off of the skyscraper. Yeah, well, what's interesting about that, though, is, is you start flipping, like we were just wondering, you know, how you were going to get propelled up, or sometimes you just go straight up, which would be horrible, because then you'd land on the building and just tumble down that. Right. Right. Fascinating profession. Let's take a look. <laughs> skyscraper by much. Yeah, well, that was actually Eric Rohner was the... Oh, was Eric, yeah, okay. We both did that one, but uh, Eric didn't get out as far as we thought he was going to get out. And then the thing that went horribly wrong that our, our physics didn't really uh, think about was that Tommy was one of the, the fat guys that jumped onto the blob. Um, he actually got flung off the blob uh, and almost with, went off the building. Without a parachute. With no parachute, yes. Yeah, well, so, yeah. that's Elvis. Uh... <laughs> 